So we're on the way to go see Matt at Hood Rat. Uh, he's been drawing up a new J-arm for us to help fix some of the alignment troubles that we've been having. He was able to draw it and design it in Fusion. And we're on the way to go pick up the first rendition and mock-up arm to go see how it fits on the truck. He went and took the design that we had and made a couple tweaks to it so that we were able to adjust our camber caster a little bit more to get it right where we need to for the truck. Uh, super excited to see how this arm turned out. The design and everything that he had looks phenomenal and can't wait to get it on the truck and get it out into the dirt to go see what happens.
So we're here with Matt from Hoodrat. Uh, we just got finished doing the upper control arms on the truck. Um, so Matt, what did we end up doing to the control arms to, to make the truck perform better? Well, the old problem we were having is, uh, although the old arms worked and everything was good, the problem is you were very limited on adjustments. You were stuck with a lot of negative camber and uh, kind of an uncontrollable cast for both sides are a little different. So ultimately what we did <coughs> was just made the arm longer, put some mechanical caster in, so drop the mounting of the upright back a little bit so it angled the caster back a little more. So now we actually have usable caster. We're sitting about seven and a half degrees. Right now zero camber, which is where we're gonna start because it gives you the ability to start feeling out different settings. Perfect. So really, what's the biggest difference from the control arms that we had before to what we have now? Really just length, um, aside from weight, because yeah. they, they're about half the weight, I would yeah. say, because you overbuilt them yeah. significantly before. So now they're all made out of eighth inch chromoly, all internally ribbed and just longer, more you know usable, yeah. and just stronger while keeping the weight down. Perfect. Now, for the people saying that, okay, now you went to a thinner material and stuff like that, why going with a thinner material, but what we went with is actually stronger than what we had before? A, uh, 4130 instead of mild steel. Uh, the other part is all the internal ribbing that I have in there. So we put a lot of internal gusseting that now adds a vertical structure all the way through. So in certain areas that are going to twist or flex, it actually has a full plate that's welded both bottom and top side that's going to hold it all together and keep it from twisting or cracking. Awesome. Uh, anything else? I don't think, I think that's about it. Perfect. <coughs> it works.